Repentance. One of the most disgusting feelings there is, and the worst thing is, there's nothing you can do about it. Once it's there, it stays. But how can you avoid it? How can you live the life you want to live without regret? With decisions. Good decisions. The current situation you find yourself in is the result of decisions you've made in the past. So decisions are very powerful and we have to make them often every day. But the problem is that we have never learned how to make the right decisions consistently. Let me give you an easy example. I'm standing in front of the fridge and have the choice of eating an apple or a piece of chocolate. Well, with a lot of willpower it might be the... Okay, then the chocolate. As you can see in the example, I opted for the better short term option. And that brings us directly to the first step, make decisions that are good in long term. What I'm about to tell you is not something I made up, but comes from the book The 7 Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Akaway, which has already sold over 40 million times. And it's called The Personal Mission Statement. It focuses on what you want to be and to do and upon the principles of values upon which being and doing are based. These principles or values are written down in short sentences. Here's a brief insight into mine. God comes first. I ensure a healthy balance between work and leisure. I always focus on my purpose of my existence and strive to fulfill it. I'm a gentleman. I have 10 more sentences in my PMS, but I think that's enough to give you a rough idea. And of course, this statement changes from time to time. That's completely normal. If you want to learn more about the topic, I've linked the book in the video description below. But before you ask, what does this statement have to do with good long-term decisions. Well, it is a basis for your life and therefore for every decision you make. You start to actively act according to your own values, which ensures that your life will move more and more in the direction you want it to go. Step two, have priorities. Perhaps you're faced with a decision where both options make sense in long term. A dinner with your girlfriend or a workout at the gym, for example. Here it's important that you know what is more important to you. What a sentence. So, Simply write down all the areas of your life in a list and now think about which one is at least important to you. This will be the last thing on your list of priorities. If you have 5 areas of life, then write the 5 next to it. Now search for the next area and when you found it, write the 4 next to it and so on. Keep doing this until there's only one area left and bang, you know your priorities. Step 3. Be aware of the pros and cons. Every decision also has disadvantages. Sometimes they're bigger, sometimes smaller. To come back to the example of the dinner and the workout, maybe going to the gym has the advantage that you stick to a training plan, but the disadvantage that your girlfriend is disappointed in you because today is her birthday. So here the disadvantage is much greater than the advantage. And a little bonus tip, be disciplined. Don't let a growing stomach or two small biceps make you make emotional decisions. Stay strong, live the life you truly want and fulfill your mission. You're on the